I became the new Man United manager with the goal of bringing the Premier League and Champions League back to Old Trafford. Season 1 was a big success as we won three trophies. We may have finished outside the top four, but our Europa League victory means that this season we have UCL football. But guys, that is not the most exciting thing about this brand new season. We have brand new kits with a new sponsor that is Spotify. They've given us 40 extra million on our budget, but since Jim Ratcliffe bought a part of Man United, there has been talks of a new stadium being built. Well, Spotify are helping to pay for our brand new Spotify New Trafford. Yeah, it can't be Old Trafford if it's new. Guys, this stadium looks truly incredible. It has a mass capacity of 110,000 people. The pitch can be transformed into live concerts and also NFL games. This is massive. What is also massive is the fact it will cost 1.7 billion pounds. And unfortunately, it will be finished in the summer of 2028. If you guys are hyped for this, then let me know in the comments. And you guys need to see these brand new Spotify Adidas kits. You're not going to want to miss them, so stay tuned. Now, getting into the football side of things, the squad we have built since joining has become very, very good. Jokeres last season was our main signing. He bagged 32 goals. And Bruno Fernandes got some crazy goal contributions. He's had 28 goals and 18 assists. Something ridiculous. Our other big signing, in fact, the biggest signing of season one, Nico Williams, he got 21 goals. So HRF signing so far proving to be a success. Of course, we did sign an emergency signing Rakitic who I'd say turned out to be a good signing also but he is now gone he's not at the club because he only signed a short contract so if we want to do even better than last season make sure we actually break into the top four in the league we need to keep hold of our best players here as Dreadford and improve this squad even more our transfer budget is 230 million and that's only going to go up because we have a player like Jaden Sancho who will not be staying we did give him the opportunity we told him he had to achieve 15 goal contributions at Chelsea he only did 11. He understands this and therefore we're going to list him. And look at this. This has to be perfect. Brashear Dortmund are the club coming in for him. With his contract expiring come end of the year, I don't think we can actually get much more for him. 46 million. That's 3 million over his valuation. And they're saying 45.7. That will have to do. Guys, Luke Shaw has messaged me saying, boss, this year interested in me and my agent has told me they're about to put an offer in. I've been at United for over 10 years now and I feel it's time for a change. Can you please accept this Offer. Well, it's not wrong. His agent is in the know. They've offered 32 and a half million. It's worth 27. I'm not too sure if a contract is running low. Let's just come back with 36. And they say yes. Yeah, so that's a good deal. And that is Jaden Sancho officially leaving Manchester United. There he is holding up the shirt. I know some of you guys will be disappointed about this. I really do feel this is the best thing for him and the club. But with Luke Short now officially departing United for PSG, we need a new left back, or do we? Because we have Mazzaro. Press a five-star weak foot and can play left back. Now, this position is defensive. So, as you can see, when we have the ball, we tuck in as a center back slash midfielder. Now, Gadacha so far this series has been a winger. I want to see more from him. Ideally, he'd be an inside forward, but would have Williams and Ganacho then. Does that really work? I feel wide playmaker is honestly the best bet here. We have barely anyone in the reserves right now, and we definitely need more players on the bench. We need a CDM and even a backup cam. And not only that, but Lindelof has disappeared. I actually don't know where he went. But Yoro is our only real backup center back. We have a lot of depth to sign. Now, whoever we sign, we really need them to be able to play center mid and CDM because those two center mids well, are both CDM. So this guy would be able to do that. Hugo Go Larson from Frankfurt. Signing prospect, six foot two, 21, 78 overall, 30 to 40 million. I feel this is a guy we want to sign right now. He has great stats, 35 million on the table, 2% signing clause, why not? Contract agreed, and there he is in the new shirt. Our first signing at season number two. We'll play this guy as a deep line playmaker. He already has an enhanced role there. But guys, when it comes to signing a backup cam, I don't feel we need to do that. We just change Mason Mount to that position. If we rotate with Bruno or he gets injured, then Mason Mount can step in. So with Larson now on the bench, you can see we have a good option. We have more depth, but we still have a lot more players to sign. Again, I feel we need to sign another midfielder who can play center mid and CDM. Mount has the cam. That's sorted. We have Barrios from Atletico Madrid. As you can see, he's good defensively and good going forward. Or we have Ravella from Juve who again, well balanced, good defensively and decent going forward. This guy's 81 overall and his contract is expiring 
commended here. So we can get him on a cheap. Rios Younger, I feel is the better player from Atletico. He would cost more. Looking at those stats, I'd say Barras is a better player going forward. Let's go in and sign him. Put 42 million down and see what they say. They won Euro. Absolutely not. I mean, he had a 46 million release clause. We settled on 44. Contract to green. And there's that second signing. That's where the heck did Ahmad Diallo go? For some reason, the Fenerbahce. I, I don't understand. How on earth did he get there? They must had a release clause and they paid it. And I did not realize. Look, I'm that annoyed about it that I actually want to buy him back. In fact, that's what we're going to do. We're going to pretend this never happened. 33.7 million. There we go. There's our third signing. Or is it really? Does it count? If we were going to completely rotate our side, but Mazawi and Delic, this is how it would look. And that is strong. New midfield of Barrios and Larson. Man at Cam and leading the line, Hoyland. So I'm hoping it will do better as a backup this season. Now, to reveal the kids, starting with the home one, you guys have seen this all episode. Probably even on the thumbnail. The kid's pretty basic, but it looks great. It has that black V, which was, in fact, the first Man United shirt I ever had. Yeah, so iconic. Looks pretty good. Now, revealing the second is our captain, Bruno Fernandez. This is my favorite one. This is clean. An all-black kit with a little bit of charcoal gray. Spotify sponsor, of course, on the new kit. It's a collar, like the away kit from last season european nights back in the champions league on a tuesday evening at spotify old trafford we're gonna be tearing up teams with this kit and here's nico williams with the third kit which is the most unusual one blue white red a little bit similar to the away one from 2021 which i'm actually wearing in the channel's profile picture but this is looking solid and this has to be the greatest goalkeeper kit you have ever seen look at onana now if he was wearing this two seasons ago that would have been a disrespect to this kit and the design. He has to put up solid performances in this kit. A big shout out to the kit maker who made these kits. Well, it was me. So like the video and subscribe. Guys, I've made a little bit of a mistake revealing the kits and going in and out the match and saving the game. We've lost 2-1 to Arsenal in the community shield. I know it's not a massive deal, but I feel we could have won that two years in a row. But hey, luckily, we have an opportunity to start the season off competitively by winning the UEFA Super Cup. Yeah, not going to be easy. The side that won the Champions League this by in Munich with Harry Kane leading the line. The beat by here really would show that we have come on leaps and bounce inside, took control of the club. Here's Kane. Oh, what a pass. The shot. Wider goal. That could have been 1 0. Here's Kane again. Sane. Back to Kane. Nice tackle there. Here's Ganacho. Gets that in behind there for Jokovic. Pulls that back. Looks for Ganacho. Ganacho to Williams. Great play. And the finish. Our first goal in season two is class. Our first signing of our first season. Kicking things off here. That was a real good goal. Doing it in the new kit as well. Here's Harry Kane. Musiala, boom, equalizer. That simple. This guy is just pure class. Ain't doing the work there, but there's a lot in that finish. Oh, that's a bad pass. Bruno gets it. Now here's Nico Williams, who goes to hit one. It's blocked, but Jocker Fans gets lucky, and that's 2 1. What in the jammer toast was that? Got blocked, and. Oh, wow. Kim Min Jae. That's very unlucky. Bruno Fernandez really does just run this side, doesn't he? Look at that dribble there. Ball out wide. For Mazawi brings it back, gets it back post. Nope. Jokovic, what a save! That's a ball whips in back post. Nice save again, Onana. We failed to get it away. Sane, Musiala, another save, and he uh, he gets on it. Oh, Bayern come again. Kane in the box. The shot. Oh, Nana. Wow. Oh, Harry Kane. Big chance, and that is a goal, Bayern. 2-2 two -two with 15 to play. Defensive mistake there from us. Just let him get through, and that left foot. Look, Bayern really could bring this back and win this game. Guerrero gets the ball in. Another header, but over the bar. There's Bayern again in the box. Harry Kane, what a block, Martinez. That's twice this game. And Musiala in the box. Nice dribbling. The shot puts it wide. Is Nico Williams right at the end of the game. Can he beat Kimmich? Stand side, Gorkarez. Jokeres, whatever his name is, is Williams again. Come on, let's win this with the last kick of the game. Jokeres to Bruno. Bruno nope. hits it. What a save, Martinez. Now Bruno to put in a corner. Delo wins the header, and that is full time. So extra time it is. It's Ganacho. Bruno in space in midfield has really sent that defender there. He goes for the shot right down the middle. We've got some subs coming on now, like Giddens on the right-hand side. Look at all this pace. Yeah, the fresh legs here will certainly help Masawi. 
Gets that one in the box. Keeper gets it away. Guys, this is going to pens. Maybe I shouldn't have made them subs. We're going to go to the right here. Okay, okay. What was that? Bruno Fernandes never missed a pen for us. Top right hand corner. I don't think he ever will miss a pen. He's just too good. Okay, again to the right. No, oh, he's penenkered us down the middle. Get out. Now, Gokarez. We're going to smash this top left hand corner. Boom, what a pen. Now, Muller is going to go to the left. Oh, that's a neat pen. Now, I've got Barrios, one of the new signings down the middle. There we go. He doesn't want to miss. And Leroy Sané, we're going to go to the right. Puts it to the left. Now Williams to the left-hand side. Can he score? Yes, he does. Come on, save this, Onana. Go to the right. He's gone wrong every time. Kobe Maynou He's young. Don't miss it. To the right. Ooh. Oh, it's gonna miss it. You're joking. We've gotta lost the Super Cup on penalties. And of course we do. They have Emmy Martinez in goal. Look at Kane. Finally next to a trophy. He doesn't even know what to do. He's putting up an awkward smile. That's his first time right there. We now have our first Premier League game of the season versus Leicester at home. Guys, I have just realized I made the kits with white socks, not black. Which some of you guys probably will be annoyed about. I actually do prefer the luck. And United do do this sometimes. Here's Bruno. Gets it out wide there for Williams. Down to that right foot. Here's Gokarez. Nice touch. And then the finish. That's the first goal in the Premier League. For season two. 1-0 United. Right, sadly, in behind. What a block there. What a save. Oh, that's a nice tackle there. Williams. Can he find Gokarez? Gokarez. To Cadaccio, near post, 2-0. We are here to do damage this season. And hopefully, we'll see a lot more from Cadaccio, as I spoke about. Let's have had good opportunities. Onana really has been saving us. Now, here's Cadaccio again. Out wide. Fake shot. Finds the pass there to Bruno. Bruno now to Ganacho. Now across the nope. box. Keeper gets there. Ganacho's getting involved. Oh, Ganacho. You can just see he's so good. On the ball. He's coming forward again here. Through players. Look at him go. Look at this dribbling. Here's Ganacho. Mazawi. Back to Ganacho. Now Bruno. Touch. Go on. Hit that. Bruno Fernandes. What a goal. Wow. 3-0. This side is amazing. Beautiful play. There this is Ganacho. But as soon as he got the ball, we all knew that was going in the top corner. Here's Williams. Look at Gokras making that run. That's good. We know he's got a strong left foot. He's going to pull that back though. Now keep it. He's kind of turning them inside out here. Still got the ball. Makes the pass. Williams for now. Oh, Leicester City have been so bad here. Okay, a Chelsea having a laugh. They're offered 140 million for Gokaras. Yeah, there's no chance we ever let this guy go. We are top of the league on goal difference. Yes, we've played one game and we won 4-1. But maybe this season we could slip into a title race. Or is that a little bit too soon? We'll see how we play against better teams. And look at that. The first Premier League team of the week. We we have five players in it. Squad is in a great place. With the bench, though, we still need to sign players. In fact, I actually forgot to put Ahmad on the bench. But we need another backup center back to Yoro. In fact, I think we need two backup center backs because we only have Yoro. And if there's an injury, we'd be in trouble. So the second backup, probably someone around 71 overall. Guys, look at this. Bruno's contract is expiring in 10 months. So I messaged Bruno asking if he's willing to negotiate a new deal. He says, boss, I'm loving my time here at United right now. And I'm in really good form. But I don't want to sign a new deal now. Let's wait until January. Guys, he's 30 years old. He's been at United how long now? Like five, six years? I really hope he doesn't have Barcelona or Real Madrid in his mind. He is Portuguese. I'm just hoping he signs a new deal and he doesn't want to move on. By the way, all the games this episode have been on ultimate difficulty. We have gone up and we're still playing really well. I guess it's the ultimate team I'm playing at the moment. We're now at Villa Park facing Aston Villa. Can we keep up this amazing form? It's Ganacho. Overlapping run there, Mazawi. Bring that into the box to Gokarez. And that is the first. It's just too easy. What a striker this guy is. Good assist from Mazawi. Finding that space. And you just know Gokarez is not going to miss that. Ronaldo chops. You know this guy's like Cristiano. Doing some skill moves. This is the season where he really comes alive here. He's really smoked the defender. Nice save keeper. He's Williams. Ball over the top there to Ganacho. Wins the header. Now Bruno on the half ball. He puts it wide. Williams over the top to Gokarez. Nice touch. Left foot finish. Needed a save. Let me find that second goal. Here comes Nico Williams. Now Gokarez. He's quite clearly offside there, right? Oh, that's a nice tackle, Gokarez. Here he is. 
that left foot. Finishes it. Side netting. 2-0 Man United. And that wraps up a 2-0 win. Two big wins in a row. Guys, we have Fulham and then Deadline Day. 201 million in the budget. And we need to make some signings, so let me know in the comments. If you guys are hyped that Season 2 is here, then smash a like on the video. Subscribe if you're new. If you enjoyed this, then click here. Real Madrid full movie.